Welcome back to the Vion Esports Twitch page. We are live from our esport room at St. John Vianney High School, and we got a couple more games of Overwatch today. We're going to be playing the same maps that we played earlier. Uh, we saw a couple of rolls in the last game, but uh, the team came back last time. So this time we got we got the Sonics against the Shadows. Once again, we did not <laughs> we did not choose these names. Um, the kids got full access to their names. So, we're going to see uh, 10 campers, and then we've got two coaches on their team as well. So, you can see everyone's name uh, is Griffin with a number, and then Pilot Seeker is one of our Vianney guys, and then Keekster is another one of our Vianney guys. They're both playing main tank, so they're both shot calling and teaching the guys how to shot call. So, we're going to see this first game on Temple of Anubis, and we're going to see if the Sonics can take down the shadows or if the shadows can overtake them and defend them as far as i know these are pretty balanced teams so far and it looks like we got the shadows running a double shield comp with pilot seeker on the reinhardt and playing as a main tank very different comps from both sides here so they're just exchanging shots and looks like the reaper is going to be coming up on the right side within the right room and he's gonna try to take out the Zen, but he isn't able to. He's gonna go for the other Reaper, but he is gonna go down, but he is traded back for a junk rat from the Zenyatta. So we got a 5v5 little Overwatch 2 action here. And it looks like we got a Reaper that went down and an Ana and a Diva. So it looks like the Sonics are going to overtake this and win this first fight here. And take take the point, and they're gonna try to go to the second point. So this will be a reset from the shadows, as they're gonna try to defend the second point. See the Junkrat sitting right here. He's gonna go down. So that's already a big pick for the Sonics. And the Ana, so it's already a 4v6. They do have a spawn advantage. But it is going to be a 4v6. Now a 5v6 as the Junkrat comes back. So they're going to try to move forward here. And the Keekster already gets one down. But a hammer does come down. And Keekster goes down. And that was a big shatter with a 4k from Pilot Seeker to come back. Make that a 5k from Pilot Seeker on the Reinhardt. And a team kill that goes to the shadows. Big win right there. Probably would have lost the site if they did not use that shatter super well like they did. We're going to see some more ultimates online here. We got three ults from the side of the Sonics. We got Keekster with his ult, with his bongo, and then Reinhardt has a shatter and Mercy has her ult as well. So we're going to see them try to come back here as Pilot Seeker is trying to tell his team to get back a little bit. And his shield is probably down as it goes back up again. But they already got a big pick on that Reaper, and they got a Bongo coming out as well, so they're going to try to push up. A Hammer comes down as well, and that is going to be a 3k return from Keekster, saying, hey, Pilot Seeker, I can do that too. And it looks like they are going to take the point, but it's going to, might be a little contested, but it's not going to be as the Reaper can get on the point. So they do take the first point with four minutes and some change left. Score. Very fast first point here. We're going to see if the Sonics can return the favor to the Shadows. See if we got any different heroes coming in here. See if they want to change up anything. See if something worked, something didn't. Ready. Looks like a little bit as we got a soldier coming out. Uh, Junkrat's coming out as well, as well as uh, the pilot seeker switches from the Reinhardt to the Sigma. But Keekster will stay on the Orisa as it worked last time. Attackers incoming in 30 seconds. Going free. Of survival, stay in range of my balance. 
So as we said earlier, this is actually a lot of these guys' first times playing on keyboard and mouse. They, most of them have played on controller before they came to this eSport e camp, and a lot of these guys are showing a massive improvement since since Monday when we first introduced them to keyboard and mouse, which is awesome, and we hope to see them at Viani one day. As the Shadows are going to try and push up here and take the point, as well as their opponents did. So you see the Shadow trying to push up here, but Sonics are going to hold the same choke point that pretty much every team will hold up here. But he does get a hook on the Arisa, see if he can get him down, but no, he shields him and protects him. The Reaper does go up there and does kill him. He's trying to get the Baptiste as well. Can he kill the Baptiste? He does kill the Arisa, so we got a nice good trades here. And it looks like they're just all going to be fighting in the room here. As the Roadhog is trying to get out, maybe get a pick or two. He's got a hook, but he does not land it. So it looks like these shadows are going to take the point here, but we do have the Roadhog still left for the Sonics. But it looks like it's going to be a fast point tank if they can get this Roadhog down, which it looks like they can. It's, it's a 4v1, and he does go down, but we do have an Echo coming back. Maybe he can stall a little bit, but at the end of the day, he's just giving his opponents more ult charge for the next fights. And it looks like Arisa and Mercy are going to come back too. And if they can get on point, they can get a little more time down, but no. They're just going to give their opponents more ult charge, which will eventually give them a bigger advantage coming to this next fight. Next fight. So we're going to see here if, we, if they can take the next point. They're just going to go right for it. They're going to hold W in. They don't have their full team here yet. But Sigma is going to bring out his ult, and so is Arisa. They got both tank ults coming out. And they already have two down, but Arisa doesn't go down. As Pilot Seeker is putting the team on his back as the main tank, shot calling. It looks like they're trying to take it down. They got the Echo down. They might have a little contention here. But he, Pilot Seeker's coming back, and they do take the point. So we will be going to a round three as both teams take both points. Got a close game here so far. Very similar time remaining. Both teams very well on attack but cannot figure it out defensively yet see if anything changes here see if we get any comp changes here on the defense side specifically ready for battle looks like we're going to keep Pretty much the same comps from both sides. I would like to see what the Shadows can do differently on defense for this round, as they did get pretty rolled last time. See if they can adjust anything, see if they can shot call better, focus their targets better, see what they can do here. And for the Sonics, I want to see if they can still keep that dominance that they did on the first point and go right to the second point and take it right away. See what adjustments can be made here in round number three. So we do have the Echo back out again. Echo hasn't done a lot. I don't think I've seen an Echo ult yet. I don't think those have been online with our fast rounds. So we already have a big pick on the Reaper. That seems to be a common theme with every round as the Reaper goes down first. So they're already down to a 5v6. As Keekster does try to go to the right room, but he is by himself. The rest of his team is back more. So if they wanted to, they could definitely focus him. That was a great rock from Pilot Seeker. So they're all trying to go in that right room, it looks like. Keekster's giving some good call outs here, but he needs everyone to get in that right room if they want to have a chance to take this point. In a minute. Activating the barrier. Barrier won't hold together. So we do have the Rhine charging, it looks like. And he does get the, the Sigma and the Junkrat. So they are, are up in numbers now. They should not be falling back. They need to push forward. They need to take the point if they want to have a chance at the second point. It looks like they are going to take this point. It's just the Baptiste and the Orisa left. And it looks like they are going to take down the Orisa. So they are going to take the first point, and they're going to have around a minute left to get to the second point. This is, some time will be added. 
Let's see. I don't think they're going to go up there. I think they're just going to try to get a little bit of ult charge and get out. But no, they are trying to go up there. Questionable decision here. But they are going to try to get back. But if they get picked, it might be over. As we are all following the Ryan Shield. And yep, there goes the Mercy. So they need to hold W right now as their Mercy is down. And it's already a 5v6. And here comes the Bongo. And then they're going to hold W. Try to get this point here. Just keep holding the W key as the Junkrat does go down. And they're going to charge in and get the Reaper. And it's already going down. They did trade some picks back and forth. And the Bongo does come out. He needs to put a shield in front of that Bongo if he wants to save it. And the ride does go down, so it looks like we got a little bit of a comeback here from both tanks, from Pilot Seeker and Arisa. As they only have 15 seconds, so they might have to switch to some faster characters to get here, but it looks like they're not going to. So, if Reaper can get on point, he can force an overtime. But it doesn't look like they're going to let him. And they're going to come out with only one round. With the signal coming out, unless anyone can get on point, that is going to be it for round three. We have a longer game here compared to the first game this morning. We got both teams doing well on attack, but that was a great adjustment on defense. Let's see if the other team can counter that and win the match here. I'm not expecting any hero changes, but actually, I am expecting a hero change. We got a Zarya coming out on one side, but the Bastion is going to come out on the defensive side. So it looks like they're going to try to end it right here, not let them take a single point with this Bastion probably going to be setting up on the high ground here. I do like the Ryan Zarya pick with Zarya, with Pilot Seeker on Zarya. See if he can make some good callouts here with Griffin 11. Dude, he is switching to Reinhardt. See if he can push his team in. But we are going to see Griffin 06 on the Bastion for the Zonix. See if he can do anything here to help out his team. And the Zarya is already down. The Ryan Shield is pretty much almost broken. Mercy goes down. And Bastion is putting the team on his back right now. As the Reaper's already going up there, he's trying to challenge the other Reaper. But he does go down once again. So we can try to see what adjustments these Shadows can make here with the Bastion. Maybe switch to a Hanzo, maybe switch to a Sombra. Try to see if they can counter the Bastion on the high ground. Maybe an Echo, as they were earlier. Because with that Bastion there, he's just going to keep spamming down the choke and break the shield. So they got to wait for the rest of their team here. So we do see Pilot Seeker do switching to a, a Roadhog. Maybe try to hook the Bastion down if, that, if they can get that shield down. Because, oh... And Reinhardt is already super low, and he has no healing, but the Bastion ult does come out. And there's two. Mercy Reaper, Baptiste. So can he get one more? He does. He does complete the 4K. And that is going to be the end of this fight. And they only have a minute and a half left. They only have two more fights left. We did get the Roadhog hold out here from Pilot Seeker. Questionable ult just to take down the opposing Ryan. But I don't I don't know how I don't know how the shadows can come back from here. With the Bastion just spamming down the choke and they seem seemingly have no counter for it. They do bring out the Diva. But the Diva is automatically gonna go down, especially with that Bongo out. The shield is broken if the hog has hooked. There it is. He can bring it down. He's trying to get the Bastion and the Bastion does go down. Can they take the point here with the Bastion dead? Roadhog is going to be on Arisa here. If Pilot Seeker can take down Geekster right here, they might have a chance. As the Ryan comes charging on site, they are on the site now. They did get the Bastion down. And the Pilot Seeker is attacking the Ryan. The Mercy's in there too. But Mercy's just gunning and trying to res. Baby Diva does kill two. The Roadhog kills one. 
And it looks like if they can get this Orisa to come down here, they will take the point. Great adjustment from the Shadows to take down the Bastion. Hook the Bastion off of the high ground and take the point here. So at the very least, we do have a tie. But they're going to have to go right to point after they take this. So they have 30 seconds to get to the point here. But it does look like the Sonics are going to try and push out a little bit so they can get their questionable ult. Maybe a fat finger from the side of the Sonics Zenyatta. But they only have 15 seconds to get to point. I don't know if they can get there. This, this map might end in a tie. That's six seconds. It doesn't look like they can get up there. The Bastion is setting up right there. The ult does come out from the Bastion as well. And he does get the Reaper. The Shatter comes out. And the map does end in a draw between the Shadows and the Sonics. It's a great adjustment on the Bastion. As it seemingly looked like they were going to get rolled. And of course, the Bastion does get to play the game. But great adjustment in that Roadhog from pulling him down and killing him to be able to take that point. We do end in a draw. And we are going to go to map two. Stick around on Viani Esports.
And we are back for map number two between the Shadows and the Sonics. We did see a draw in map no number one, which is fairly uncommon, but we saw some great adjustments from both teams on those maps. Attackers incoming in 30 seconds. I'd like to see what adjustments they can make here, as it looks like both teams are going to pull out a Bastion. So both teams are going to pull out the Bastion and see what they can do against each other. I would like to see the defenders to set up maybe on the high ground, and the attackers maybe switch to a D.Va, something like that. Because the double shield against a Bastion probably will not work, and it looks like they're just going to set up on cart just like last time. But... I think Pilot Seeker wants them to set up a little further back. And that Baptiste is going to get picked if he just sits right there. But they are going to pull out the Bastion right there in the tunnel. So we got a little Bastion on Bastion action. So the Keekster already goes down, and so both tanks are already down. We do get a res off of one of them. And I would like to see the rest of the team push up with Pilot Seeker, but he was the only one up there. But it looks like they're going to win the first part of the fight, but... Keekster is going to flank around a little bit. I don't know if they know that he's there on top. They are going to push a little bit. They are all set up in that little cave right there. And it could work if they keep the healing up on him. They keep the healing up on the Bastion. And it might, with the Orisa going down, he needs to get some healing. I don't know if he knows he can hold his right click. There it is. He does have his ult. I would expect an ult to come out right here. And he's going to try to burn that Ryan shield. He's peeking him. He's very low. That Ryan should go down momentarily. As it's a little bashing on bashing action here. The Reese is chasing him. And they are going to bring up the card a little bit. They just keep getting picks, but they can't They can't counter them. And he uses the ult, and he goes down. And this is where the bunker gets set up. When the Bastion is set up on the cart, gets all the kills in the game. The Reaper is on there to contest a little bit, but it's just a matter of time until he goes down. And there it is. And they're probably going to take this first point. wonder if we'll get any switches here. As Keekster already uses the bongo when the Sonics are not even there. But there it is. Oh, that is a big shatter. He got five of the six players with the shatter. As another shatter comes out, Bastion goes down. We got a lot of trades happening here. It looks like it's just going to be a 3v3 on point. See what we can do here. Two tanks and Pilot Seeker does go out to the Ryan. He gets some. He gets two of them. He gets Keekster and the Reinhardt. And it's just the Zenyatta left. Big comeback. Great adjustment. Big shatter from Pilot Seeker. We love to see that. So they are going to postpone the fight a little bit as Bastion does go up. Try to do some damage on the Ryan here, but he does have a shield. He can delay a little bit. And he's going to try to fall back to his team. Pilot Seeker is already, he's already attacking Mercy and Reaper. He got both of them. It's already a 6v3. The Ryan does take out the Reaper, but he does go down from the Bastion. And Pilot Seeker just going for the other two. And that was maybe a little bit too much of an overextension. As the, uh, the Sonics do have a little bit of a spawn advantage. So it's going to be a little bit of time. But now they're just going to respond with the bunker on the opposing cart. And it looks like they're still taking them out somehow with the transcendence there. And here comes the ult and the Bastion ult does go down. And it looks to be as if the Sonics are going to take this point once again, but here comes the shatter and that's another big shatter from Pilot Seeker, but it's responded to with another shatter. And Pilot Seeker is probably gonna go down, not before he takes out the Zenyatta. But it looks like they are finally going to take out the rest of the team. And with 30 seconds remaining, they are probably going to take the cart. Unless the Baptiste can get on cart here and contest it a little bit. And no, he's just going to take it out. And they're just going to go back and set up again. With the cart coming through. What they don't know is that Bastion is right there. And as that Ryan charges in, he's going to get melted down by the Bastion and Orisa. But he's getting too much healing. But the Reaper ult comes out and it does kill the Reinhardt, and we got a lot of trades happening here. We did get a res on the Reaper. Pretty even right here, but it looks like these shadows are going to get the Sonic right here, but what they don't know is their spawn is right there. Their spawn is right there, and their spawn is super far away. 
on the on the shadow side. And we do get a Reaper that comes out. It does do a lot of damage to the Reaper and the Baptiste goes down, but the Bastion does take out the Baptiste. And this Bastion is about to be in a lot of trouble with the entire team on him. And he goes down from the opposing Bastion's ultimate. And it just looks to be like Pilot Seeker and the Mercy, but it doesn't look like he can do it. And it's just the Mercy left and the Reaper comes up. But they're just going to keep getting picks, keep getting st scattered. So the Reaper teleports behind him. But it's only a matter of time before he's able to go down from the rest of the team. So we are a very scattered team for the Shadows right now. What they need to do is back up, regroup, and get on the point all together before they take this next this next point. It looks like they are going to do that. They're not going to drop down just yet. The Bongo does come down, but the Risa does come down. The Baptiste comes down, and it looks like, oh, 0. 0.41 meters before takes the point. We do get another Shatter coming down. Lots of Shatters coming out here. The Reinhardts are farming their ults with their Fire Strikes, but they are going to take the cart for a two points to zero. What the Shadows need to do here is back up, set up, because their their spawn is right there. Their spawn is right there. They just need to back up and set up, but their Mercy is right there. They don't see the Mercy right behind them. The Mercy just got away for free. Do see a Bastion ult coming out. See if the Bastion can respond. Oh, we're just getting picks back and forth. See if he can take out the Mercy before the res. No, he still gets the Bastion. But is this Bastion going to go down before? No, he's about to go down, though. And both Bastions go down. It looks like Shadows are going to win this fight. This Pilot Seeker makes an aggressive charge. And it looks like the Zenyatta uses Transcendence right out of the spawn. Instead of trying to cancel an ultimate with it. The Zenyatta is using his antis very well right now, though. And it looks like the Sonics are going to advance the cart. And they're just going to do the classic bunker up strategy. And the Bastion and the Risa trade. And it looks like that's just the Reaper up there too right now. If he can get out. If he can get out. Oh, if he can get out. Oh, Roadhog's trying to get him. A Reaper does come out. Does kill the Zenyatta. The Reaper does go down. And we got lots of trades happening here. But the Shadows do look to be coming on top here as they are surrounding the Sonics. But just trades keep happening back and forth like to see this Mercy damage boosting this Bastion here. That shield goes down immediately. He doesn't see the Rhine right there. He's just going to get a charge. And Pilot Seeker is on the hog, the Roadhog now, and he's going to try to take down the Reinhardt, and he does. But the rest, the rest of the Sonics are here. They're all scattered, and I don't think the Shadows just know what to do. We do get a Bongo that comes out, and a Window that comes out. That is a lot of damage for Keekster up at the very top. If he can use that to his advantage. He did get the Baptiste taken out. It looks like he, that's all he can get. Almost, almost a waste of tools, but he does get another pick, so it was worth it. But the Sonics are advancing, inch by inch, as the rest of the Shadows are just completely scattered around. They're all in different spots. They are not grouped up at all, and this could be it for this half of the map for the Sonics. Ex except the Pilot Seeker ult does come out from Roadhog. He does go down. It's just the Reaper there. We got a Baptiste here. We got a Bastion here. The Bastion is going to get set up. It's going to be a little Bastion Bastion action, but the Shadows Bastion does come out on top. We've got a lot of people on cart here with 0.1 meters left. Can they take it? Bastion's going to stay on ult. we got an emergency hamster in. And we got a Reaper with a 3k, and it's just the, the Wrecking Ball left, and it's going to be it for the Shadows. And the Sonics take all three points. A reminder that we are live from our Vianney Esports Center at St. John Vianney High School. And if you or anyone you know want to come next week to our Griffins Esport Camp, we do have some slots open still. And we would love to have anyone else to come next week. We're doing the same thing next week, next Friday. We will be live all day with Overwatch and Valorant gameplay. A lot of these guys have not 
touched keyboard and mouse with gaming before, and this is their first week ever doing it. And then we got two school captains on our team. We got Pilot Seeker and Keyster trying to lead their teams to a victory here. So not much changing with the ult here. We do have a Moira coming out on the side. On the side of the shadows. Let's see if anything can change here. We do have two Bastions coming out once again. I would expect they're going to be playmakers just like last time. And it looks like they know exactly where they're going to come out from that room right there. But they are going to switch and go to the center, actually. And Keekster is very far up. I don't know how much he can survive with that Bastion right there. But he does take out the Bastion. That's a huge pick for them. As we get trades coming back and forth. We've got two healers coming down. A Zenyatta and a Baptiste. The Reaper is coming down. we got two charges coming in. Keekster will probably go down, but no Pilot Seeker backs up. He has no health. He has no healers on him. We got a Bastion trade coming out, and it looks like the Sonics are going to win this first fight. And this Reaper is just coming out. He does get picked again. That seems to be a common theme of today, of this Reaper getting picked before the fight even starts. But it looks like Pilot Seeker and his team are just trying to inch the cart, and it's just the Mercy up there. So they do win the fight after the, uh, the Sonics got a little overextended there. They're going to try to take out the Zenyatta, and they might be able to. No, he stays in the cave, makes a smart move, and tries to heal up. So it looks like very similar strats from both teams. We're just going to bunker up on the cart and see how much it can work with every character on the cart. We do have a Bastion ult coming out, though. Can this be as much of a playmaker as it was before? It can. The Bastion goes down. Baptiste is almost there, but Moira does take out the Rhine and the, the Bastion. Big picks from the Moira. Reaper does take out Pilot Seeker. That is a big pick, as it's only Reaper and Moira left on the cart. They can definitely just jump on out on the cart and take the take the point here, but I think they're waiting for it. So the Reaper is trying. He doesn't see the Zenyatta behind him. Oh, that is unfortunate for the Reaper. But we do have a Moira in the room. I don't think they know where she is either. But they do take the cart back, and Reaper does go down. So we still got five players here. It's a five v five once again. As we come back, the bongo comes out and they can't destroy it. It's very well placed from Keekster. And that is a big fire strike. They did a lot of damage with that bongo up. And they're just, and they're just going to back up. Not until the Moira uses her coalescence. And tries to do some damage down in there. Get some pick damage. But with the amount of healing they have, I don't know, I don't know how worth it that was, you know? The Reaper, Pilot Seeker is trying to go in there. And the Mercy will probably go down. That is a big shatter from Pilot Seeker. He got almost everyone down there. And Bastion is going to go down as they try to get the Reaper, and they're going to try to take the cart. It's just Arisa left, and they're probably going to take this point here. They can get the Mercy here. And he does get the pin off. And they're going to take the first point as they trade first points back and forth. So we got a Transcendence coming out to heal the team and get out for the Zenyatta, and they can try to contest here. Both two Bastions coming out, the shields are just non-existent. Oh, the Bastion does take out Zen and Bastion. That's going to be huge for them. It's going to be a 6v4, and they need to try to kill that Arisa and that Rhine. The Rhine does come charging in. Questionable decision as none of his team are there. And they see him. That is a big shatter, though. It was all part of the plan. He's trying to swing at them, but the, he does get charged into from Pilot Seeker. So we see Reaper going up. Try to kill Keekster. And the Mercy that's in there. And he does get Keekster to go down. Wow. So we can see the Sonics are pretty much having the same problem as Shadows did last round. They are very scattered and they cannot group up. As we see the Reaper and the Zenyatta going in there. We do have an Emergency Hamster coming out a little early. I'm not sure how far he was on the Bongo, but... See how well this works out. And we do have another Bastion ult coming out. Seems like these are just being farmed. And he does take out Pilot Seeker. It is responded to. And it looks like they do trade with each other. Which might make the fight a little easier for both sides. But looks as though Shadows might come on top here. So we do get a ball coming in here. And the Reinhardt comes in. But he does go down. The Zenyatta's up top. I don't know if they see him up there yet. Oh, he does use his ultimate way too early. But it doesn't matter, because they do get the second point. 
and they could definitely scatter the Zany out of here. Looks like the Moira tried, the Moira does scatter him. Get into position. And then it looks like they're going to scatter that Reaper too. So they're already at a 6v4, but that Bastion's just up there doing so much damage. And Keekster does take out Pilotseeker as the Wrecking Ball, but he does go down. But it looks as though the Bastion is just going to hold on top and take out all of the people that come in. Very even match so far. So we got another Bash note coming online. I feel like they just used it. Pilot Seeker's almost down, but no, he pinned him. They're both very low. He's trying to go for the... Oh, and he gets it. And it looks as though the Sonics might take this point, but they're, they, the trade just keep coming back and forth. This Moira might be putting the healing and the damage on her back. They can't really move the cart because the Wrecking Ball mines are there. They can't move the cart at all. This Pilot Seeker tries to go up but misses the charge. But might come back on the Mercy here. Maybe maybe on the Bastion. He's, oh, it looks like he's going for a Shatter right here. I'm calling it right now. He's going to Shatter. And there it is. He does get the Bastion. But he has responded to with another Shatter. Lots of picks coming from both sides. But it looks like the Sonics are going to have the advantage. Sonics are doing a very good job of defending here. Even with the Wrecking Ball. Transcendence does come out, so they definitely can try to come up if they want. But the Bastion ult comes out once again. So many Bastion ults, but he just goes down right away. And the Shadows just need to group up here. They need to group up and spawn and try to go in together. So it feels as though Sonics might take this with a minute and a half left. Keekster does try to go in, but it looks like he's going to go down. And that could be a big momentum shifter, as they already have one going down. But the Bastion goes down, too. It's already a 5v5. As more and more picks happen, but it looks like the edge is going to be to the Sonics. So we have an Arisa and a Moira back, but it's just those two. Another Bastion note coming up. So he's trying to get the Arisa go down, and the Arisa does go down, so they are going to have the advantage here, if they can get this Reaper for sure. Got a big advantage coming here to the Sonics as they are just holding out for 50 more seconds and try to win this map. We do have a Coalescence coming out and trying to get that Reaper. That Reaper's just in their spawn. As we got Keekster coming back as the ball, but with that Coalescence, I don't know how much health he could have. He is at half health right now. But we do have a Bastion just sitting on cart. And Keekster does get out. A Shatter does come out from Pilot Seeker. He does take out, but the Bastion just cleaning up. Oh, we got a huge momentum shifter. We had two ults come out there as another Reaper ult comes out, but it can't do anything. A little too far back. And we do get a team kill, so we might get a little overtime action here in map number 266. They're going to have to go all the way if they want to bring this to a round three. And with two ults from both sides, I don't know. There's also a Bash note coming online. But the ball does go in there and try to jump everyone up. And the shields are almost down. Oh, and that is a big minefield for the Sonics. And the Shatter comes down. It looks like this could be it for the Shadows. And it looks like that will be as they take map number two for a series lead for the Sonics. And of course, we get the Bastion play of the game as both teams. Both teams bring out the Bastion. And I would expect the exact same thing to happen in the next map of Eichenwald. Don't go anywhere. Stay with us. We'll be back in a few minutes.
Attackers incoming in 30 seconds. And welcome back to Beyond Esports Summer Camp Session 2. We are here on Eichenwald. As the Sonics do have a 1-0 lead over the Shadows. Seeing different comps out here. Got a Pharah on the side of the Shadows. See if they can make that work, especially on defense. See how this works for them. We do have Pilot here switching to the DPS from the main tank role. But Keekster is going to be on the D.Va. I think he was expecting a Bastion, but the Bastion did not come out. So that Bastion is just going to do a ton of damage to the opposition, but Pilot Seeker is in there as the Reaper. He's getting a lot of kills in there for him. And the Hog is in there as well. The Reinhardt's in there, and the Diva's going to go down, and Keekstar does go down, and they get a first fight victory for the side of the Shadows. Great comeback after the last map. So we do see the Sonics coming out with the Bastion, just like last time. They might have expected another Bastion to come out. But Keekster does switch to the, to the Wrecking Ball. And he's trying to cause some havoc for him. As we do got Pilot Seeker just in the back line, and he does take out the Mercy, which is a huge pick for them. But he's not really there to help out the rest of his team. Looks like they're starting to take the point. As we got a Reaper coming on point, we got Pilot Seeker coming on point, and that's about it. And it looks like the Sonics will take first point, but not if the Hog has anything to do about it. He does take out the Rhine, pretty impressive. Higgster does back him up on the Wrecking Ball, and they're going to take the first point. All oh, the fire gets pinned right away. Had no idea the Reinhardt was coming. And the Reinhardt is doing so much damage to these guys here. And it looks like they are going to win this fight here. And what I think the Shadows need to do is completely reset back all the way up. Or just die. As you see, the Bastion is just going to bunker up on cart. And then you group up together. Try to take out this Bastion together. I do like the Pharah pick here. On defense, it's a little questionable, but this map, pretty good for Pharah. With the Bastion, it's a little questionable, because she can just get shot out of the air right away. And she doesn't really have a Mercy on her either. Not really running that Pharmacy. Most teams will. We do see a little, little under push here from the side of the Shadows. And they might be able to take a little bit here, but yeah, with this ult coming out, it doesn't look like they'll be able to, to win the fight here. Unless something crazy happens. With a Pilot Seeker ult, possibly. If he wants to use it here. That's going to be another big pick for him. He got both their healers, and it's going to look like that the Shadows are going to win this fight. Looks like Pilot Seeker just got a 3k, putting the team on his back. See if we can get the, the Wrecking Ball here. A very low health. The Ryan's going to swing at him as well. And they're going to win this fight here. Very impressive. Great adjustment. They all grouped up. All came from under. And the Sonics just did not expect it. So we got three minutes left with this point. They got to take this point in three minutes. See what they can do. Oh, looks like Pilot Seeker's going to go for the ult here. I see it coming, and there it is. There's a 2k, maybe a 3k. There's the 3k. You can see that coming from a mile away. And we got the Pharah ults as well. And that's just going to clean them up. We got two ults coming out. And it looks like Keeks is just going to be stuck there. And he needs to just he needs to just die down there so he can respawn with his team. So after three ults used, might have been a little overkill with the Hog ult. But they do win the fight. And it's going to go down around 2.15 before, before they come back, before the Sonics come back. So we do have a Bastion ult coming out here and another Reaper ult coming out. So they're going to try to respond to them with a bunch of ults. It looks like they're going to win this and it's just the Pharah back over here. It's just the Pharah left for them. They couldn't get the team kill. She's already at 100 health. She has no healing and it's just a matter of time before 
Her boost runs out and she'll go down. With one HP, she does go down. And unless they can test here, I don't see any chance that the shadows can overtake this. And it looks like they're not going to be able to, especially with that Roadhog or the Hammond ult coming out. And they're going to take second point and have three minutes left to take the last point. It's just going to be the Hog left and just a matter of time before him and Reaper go down. Got some fair plays here, but can't really do much with that. The ult I'm looking for here is the Pilot Seat Girl. That's a completely changed the outcome of the game last time, so he needs to charge that up as fast as he can. And he might be able to on this ball here. As he's already up to 90%, just killing that one ball. And he's just going to have it for next fight. And there it is. He has it charged up. But the Reinhardt ult does come out here. We do have a Bastion on card. I think Pilot Seeker just didn't know. He's going to ult right here. It looks like they're going to win the fight here. Didn't really used to have need to use any more ults here, but... I do like the switch from Farrah to Junkrat. Get a little more damage in here, especially in the inside when Farrah is just so easy to target. And they do take down the Reinhardt and scatter him a little bit. And they're going to win this fight. they got two more minutes left to defend this. They do have a chance here with some ults here. The Storehog goes down right away. We got Pilot Seeker up here. Maybe he can take out the Bastion, but if not, he's just going to have to fade away. Oh, and there comes the ult. And there is a 2k, maybe a 3k, even get Bastion, and that's it. That's going to take the time down to at least a 130 in order for the Sonics to come back and take the last point here. If the Shadows are able to take the point here, or I'm sorry, if the Sonics can take the point here, it'd be a big win for them. But if they can't, I, I'm giving the slight edge to the Shadows. It's going to be a trade of Reinhardt's here. We do have a Bastion ult come out, but he goes down right away at the hands of Pilot Seeker. So we do have his Anyata ult come out and try to save his team a little bit. And it's probably going to work as that hog is about to go down. It does. And they might be able to move up here to the cart. As Kickster does take out two, one with his mines. As it's just the Baptiste. And now just the Junkrat and Reaper left. But Reaper almost has his ult, but he does go down. If they can contest, he could maybe get his ult from the next fight. Hog has to get on point now, but nope, that is going to be it for the first half of the map. It seems like a common theme with some of these guys. They just need to group up. They need to learn to hold the S key and back up and just group up as a team. And I think this is anyone's game here. Maybe give the, the Sonics a slight edge here, but... I think this can be anyone's game with how strong these teams have been on attack and how weak they've been on defense. As both teams do seem to be pulling out the Bastion Nope, the Junkrat's going to come out, looks like. I wonder if they're going to set up on cart here or if they're just going to try to set up at the wall here as the common setup here. Interesting death. That is not going to be good for the Sonic. It's already going to be a 4v6. I'm not sure what the point of that was, but it's already going to be an early 4v6 and a slight advantage. If I was the captain of the Shadows right now, I would be balls to the wall and try to get as far as I can. But with that Bastion up there, they just can't do much. They're going to try to res the Bastion after Pilot Seeker did take him out. Ryan is going to charge up there. But they're going to win the first fight. So Pilot Seeker is going to be back by the site here. But they are kind of chasing him here. You see a Reinhardt and a Ball chasing him. And the Sonics know exactly 
what to do here. To take out the Reaper, and then they win the fight. See some picks coming back and forth here. We see Kikas are just doing the spin to win, but as we all know, they did nerf that, and it's only a five seconds that you can stay hooked on something, but he just tried again. It's just the Baptiste left, and the Reaper does come back, but he misses the charge on him. He's going to try to go for him here, but this is going to be a one fight for the Sonics. Great defense so far. The Hog does get on site, but he's kind of by himself, and Pilot Tinker does come up behind him. He's 90% on ult if he wants to use it here, but he's too low health. He won't be able to use it in time, but they are. I don't even think they're going to need the ult. It looks like they're going to come out victorious here on the first point. They do, and it's just the Bastion coming back, and they do win that fight after a load of picks from the Shadows. We do see the Bastion ult coming out when he's by himself. See if he wants to do anything with that here, but they won the, the fight, so either way, doesn't matter. And he is taken down from the Reinhardt. See Kigster coming in with the old questionable old. Does take out the Moira though. And we do see a Reinhardt ult come out as well. But it isn't able to do anything. We do see a Junkrat ult come out too. And it does kill Kigster. And a lot of picks back and forth once again. And Piloteer does get the double kill there. Trying to get the Reinhardt. But it looks like Geeks are just me. Or I'm sorry, Pilot Secret just me spamming out a shield. And he almost gets pinned there, but he misses it. And I bet he's gonna go for the Bastion here. Maybe ult him. Nope, he is down right away. And he could take out King Serbo with the shields, he won't be able to. As looks like Pilot Seeker is still putting the team right on his back. And I like the play earlier. They went right for Pilot Seeker in the first fight. He does take out Keekster. They went right for him in the first fight. And then they won the fight. They just need to do that again. They need to target him right away. And he might be able to hear him. No, he fades out of the way. And he might jump down to his team here. Oh, we do see the Hoggle come out with the Bastion. Just takes him down right away. And it's kind of looking like they're coming behind him. They went around the castle and they're coming now behind him. And at the end of the day, it might work. We got a 4v2 on card here. The Reaper ult does come out, kills two of them, so maybe it won't work. We get another Reaper ult coming out. And I don't know, I honestly don't know who can win the fight here. With how back and forth this has been and with the spawn advantage. And oh, Ryan goes off the map and he didn't get Pilot Seeker. Oh, that might be, that might be the point there. And I think the Shadows will be able to take the card here. But if Keekster just keeps spinning and winning and they can't take him out, oh, and he falls down the map. Unlucky for Keekster, but they are going to take the second point, even with the Bastion ult coming out. So we're going to see some more picks coming back and forth here, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. They're just getting more ult charge for themselves here. And we got a, we got a hammer coming out here. And it looks like he's going for the Bastion too. If he can take him out with the Bastion, the Baptiste are able to take him out. We've got not full teams here, but we get another Bastion coming out. If he can get this Bastion, he does get him. Can he get any more? He isn't able to. Maybe the Mercy. Does he know the Mercy's in there? I don't think he does. And he takes out the Reaper. The Mercy's just kind of sitting in there. And it looks like Hog is going to go for him. And Ryan goes for a charge, but it does not work out. And they're just going to keep rolling on to the third point. As we can see, we got a lot of ults from the side of the Shadows, and the odds are on them. I think they take the point here very easily, with three ults and Pilot Seeker's ult almost online. I would expect more ults coming out from both sides here. As we just see more picks coming back and forth. And there's Pilot Seeker's ult. And it's going to go. Oh, maybe not. They're trying to contest a little bit more, but they got two and a half minutes. It's just a matter of time for the overtime. And then we are going to go to a round three as the Sonics are able to take all three points. Score. Three to three.
Switching sides. Initiating match. Ready for battle. Attackers incoming in 30 seconds. We are back, and we are. They only have 60 seconds, the Sonics do, to take the point here and get as far as they can before the shadows get over two and a half minutes. But the Bastion, both Bastions are out on both sides here. The Bastion does take out two. They are already on point. Keekster does get to the point. Maybe get, get them to turn around a little bit and create some spo space, but the Bastion just staying focused on that Diva up there. And the Diva does get demacked. As Keekster is just going to spin to win, is his strat here. But he doesn't have any shield, and he has a little over 100 health left, and he goes down right away. Looks like this might be a win for the Sonics, unless they are coming back with five people. See if they can take this last fight here. And Reaper's getting all up in their face, and does get one with the Baptiste. Maybe they do have a chance here. This pilot here does take down the Reaper, and the Baby Diva does go down. We missed the charge on him, but if this Bastion goes down, I think it's over. It's just Mercy and Keekster left, and he's just going to try to spin to win again. And Mercy doesn't get the res off, and it's just going to be geeks are left if they can get him off the cart. Looks like that's going to be it, unless D.Va can get on point here to force more overtime. And he does. The D.Va does get on there, but if he gets demacked right away, they can take out the baby. It'll probably be over. And that is going to be it for round three. And the shadows just have... A little over two and a half minutes to just take one tick three of the point to, to win the match. Initiating match. I'm expecting a very similar comp from both teams here. Both pull out the Bastions, maybe Keekster goes on the ball again. See if they want to switch anything up. Oh, and I see a Sombra coming out for the Shadows. Maybe she'll try to go invisible, maybe go on the point here, maybe get them to turn around if they're going to hold up top. Be interesting to see what they do here. So looks like they're going to hold a pretty similar spot of what they do every round. And Keekster's back on the Orisa on defense. We've got a very interesting comp on the side of the Shadows. Let's see what the Sombra wants to do here. They're going to go out the other door. So I think the Sombra might try to get on point here. Get them to turn around. And that is exactly what they're going to be doing. Oh no, she's going to go up top. I think. Just run around invisible. They just need to take one tick. Just remember that. They just need to take one tick of it, and the Ryan does get on point right away. So they are able to fight it off as they try to back cap them and try to C9. We see the Samba right here. Let's see if she, what she wants to go for here. She might try to go for this, these two tanks. So she's, they're very low. She doesn't get the Orisa. She's trying to go for the the Reinhardt here, but she needs to go for the Mercy first if she wants to get any chance. She tries to go visible, but it does look like the Sonics are going to win this fight. But we still got two minutes left for the Shadows to take it. 
which look, looks like just going to be just some Moira left. But in my book, that is successful. They got their opposition to move back to the point instead of set up with the Bastion up to, on high ground so they can get up to point. Looks like the Sombra's just going to try to go around again. If she can farm that EMP, that might be huge for the opposition here. She's just going to run around invisibly. And she does hack the Bastion. Very good move. And then Pilot Seeker almost takes out Bastion, but he goes down with the Bongo up for Geekster. And it's already a 4v6. But Samara is trying to get her EMP up. Very interesting strategy here. With knowing that they will run the Bastion, and they're going to run Samara and try to hack the Bastion, so they're able to move forward. Pilot Seeker does come out with the Reaper, and she does it again, but she's at 99%. She goes no down. But for this next fight, they might have a chance here. With an EMP Death Blossom that I think could come out here. Could be very interesting for a last fight. He's going to ult right now. It'll be interesting. Nope, he's going to hold it off. Maybe wait for the EMP. So they are coming up. And the Rhine does turn a Shatter on. And both ults come out at the right time. It looks like the Sonics are taking it right now. They only have 20 more seconds left that they have to hold off. The Roadhog ult does come out, but he's not even moving. Hog goes down, but he does kill the Reaper. They only have 15 seconds to get back on card. Sombra has to get on card here if they want Ten seconds to take the point. So it looks like Sombra's right there. She's going to try to get on point. Or Tracer's right there. And here comes the hack, maybe. There's the hack. And nobody can use their abilities, and maybe it can work. If it does, this will be a great comeback. But with the picks, it looks like looks like the shadows might be able to take it. I don't know. Super close. The bongo goes down, but they're all super low. They might be able to take it here. But no, it looks like they're gonna go down. It's just a mercy and a tracer. Just the mercy left on cart. If she goes down, and if Simon can get on cart, that'll be it. As we do end in a draw once again. As no team was able to take it, a take a tick. Got another Reinhardt play of the game. It looks like that'll be it for our Overwatch stream. We might have a a Valorant stream coming up soon here, so stay tuned for that. But thanks again for guys coming out, and thank you for everyone watching on YouTube. We appreciate everyone. Stick around.